Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Hey guys, Ryan from Playing With Power here. We are super excited to announce that we are looking to launch a new in-person gameplay series next year on YouTube. It is all gonna be CEDH and we are going to be bringing on different guests and showcasing different decks to everyone to see how the in-person gameplay of CDH is gonna be. This type of production takes a lot of money, so we're gonna need help in raising the funds to get this series off the ground. We decided to partner with Douglas Schuler, a very famous artist in Magic's history who did things like the new Dockside Extortionist, the new Allosaur Shepherd, and of course the classic iconic Demonic Tutor all the way back in Alpha. We commissioned him to create a very unique, awesome custom playmat for playing with power and for you. We're also offering a special bundle that is only available for the month of December. We are putting in goodies that we have never sold before at this point and bundling them all in so you can save money. We wanna make this production as high quality as possible so your pre-orders and your purchases will help make that a reality. All through the month of December, we will be taking pre-orders, but this is the only time you'll be able to get this playmat at this price. Check out the links in the description and pre-order it at the special price now. Thank you so much for watching Watching. Thank you so much for your support, and we will see you next time. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cal, Pouting Marwin the Nurturer. This is an elf ball deck looking to accumulate more and more elves and sink large amounts of mana into a game ending spell. Cal's opening hand contains an Elvish Pioneer, Natural Order, Teamer Sabretooth, Shared Summons, Elvish Visionary, and two Snow Covered Forests. Next, we have our Mox Pro Patron, Sean, piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator and Vile Smasher of the Fierce. This deck, called Grixis Pirates, seeks to execute one of many combos, including Glenhorn Malcolm, Oracle, Breach, or Niv-Mizzet Curiosity. Sean's opening hand contains a Spire of Industry, Narset Parter of Veils, Mindbreak Trap, Morphic Pool, Arcane Signet, and his London Mulligans are Badlands and Curiosity. After that, we have our Mox Pro Patron, Philip, piloting Abdel Adrian, Gorian's Ward, with Candlekeep Sage as the background. This is a control list looking to leverage its commanders to generate mana and draw cards to win the game. Philip's opening hand contains an Island, Adakar Wastes, Mox Opal, Draneth Magistrate, Arcane Signet, Negate, and his London Mulligan is a Plains. Finally, we have Ryan, piloting Joyra, Weatherlight Captain. This is a mid-range artifact storm deck seeking to win the game through either Underworld Breach or Displacer Kitten. Ryan's opening hand contains the Gemstone Caverns, Cavern of Souls, Lion's Eye Diamond, Resculpt, Mana Crypt, Ristic Study, and his London Mulligan is a Displacer Kitten. Without further ado, let's kick off this fancy familiar far-fetched fast felony. Cal had the nicest bell-bottom jeans and gets to start us off. But Ryan has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Resculpt. Cal draws a card for turn and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He cast Elvish Pioneer. It enters and Cal puts a Snow-Covered Forest onto the battlefield tapped. Cal passes. Sean draws a card for turn and plays a Morphic Pool. He passes. Philip draws and casts Mox Opal. He plays an Adakar Wastes for turn. Philip ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Human as it enters. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a turn one, Ristic Study. The table sighs as Ryan passes to Cal. Cal draws and plays a Snow Covered Forest. He casts his Commander, Marwin the Nurturer. Ristic triggers and Ryan draws. Cal ends his turn. Sean draws and plays a Spire of Industry. He casts an Arcane Signet and Ryan draws from Ristic. Sean ships the turn to Philip. Philip draws, plays an Island, and passes. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts his commander, Joyra, Weatherlight Captain. Ryan casts Lion's Eye Diamond. Joyra triggers and, in response, Philip casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Joyra, paying the Ristic Tax. In response, Ryan casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Chain of Vapor. With no answers, Swat resolves, changing the target of Chain of Vapor to Ryan's own Mana Crypt. Then Chain resolves, Mana Crypt bounces to Ryan's hand, and he stops the Chain. Then Joyra's ability resolves, and Ryan draws a card. Then Lion's Eye Diamond resolves. Ryan recasts Mana Crypt, drawing from Joyra. He casts Pyrite Spellbomb, drawing from Joyra again. Ryan ends his turn. Cal draws and casts Elvish Visionary, paying the Ristic Tax. It enters, Cal draws, then puts a plus one plus one counter onto Marwin. He plays a Snow Covered Forest for turn. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with his Elvish Pioneer. Sean takes it and Cal gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and casts his own Ristic Study. Ryan's Ristic Study triggers and he draws. In response, Cal casts Worldly Tutor, paying for Ryan's Ristic. He fetches up a Fierce Empath onto the top of his library. Then Sean's Ristic resolves, and the others wonder how they are going to win this game. Sean ends his turn. Philip draws and taps his Adakar Wastes to cast a Draneth Magistrate. Both Ristics trigger, and Ryan and Sean draw. Philip ships the turn to Ryan. 
During his upkeep, Ryan loses his mana crypt flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Spire Bluff Canal into play untapped. He casts a Trinket Mage, paying the Rhystic Tax. It enters, and Ryan fetches up a Soul Ring into his hand. He casts Soul Ring. Joyra and Rhystic Trigger, and Sean and Ryan draw. He casts Arcane Signet. Joyra and Rhystic Trigger, and Sean and Ryan draw again. Ryan activates Pyrite Spell Bomb, sacrificing it, dealing 2 damage to Marwyn, killing her. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Joyra. Sean takes it, and Ryan passes the turn. Cal draws and plays a Homeward Path. He casts Teemer Sabertooth. Both Rhystic's trigger, Sean draws, and Cal pays for Ryan's. Sabertooth resolves, and Cal passes the turn. Sean draws and decides that one draw engine just isn't enough. He casts Mystic Remora. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. Unfortunately for the table, it resolves. Sean taps his Spire of Industry to cast Gamble, and Ryan draws from Rhystic. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards an Imperial Recruiter. He casts a Mana Crypt, and Ryan draws from Rhystic again. Finished up, Sean passes. Philip draws and casts an Arcane Signet. Both Rhystics and Mystic trigger. Ryan draws, and Sean draws too. Feeling the sting of the draw engines, Philip decides to pass. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He casts a Grim Monolith. Joyra, Rhystic, and Mystic all trigger. Sean draws from Mystic, Ryan pays for Rhystic, and then draws from Joyra. He casts a Mana Vault. Joyra, Rhystic, and Mystic all trigger. Sean draws, Ryan pays for Rhystic, then draws from Joyra. He casts a Felwar Stone. All three trigger again. Sean draws from Mystic, Ryan pays for Rhystic, and then draws from Joyra. He casts an Artificer's Assistant, paying the Rhystic tax. He casts an Is It Signet. Joyra, Artificer's Assistant, Mystic, and Rhystic all trigger. Ryan pays for Rhystic, Sean draws from Mystic, Ryan scries one from Assistant, and then draws from Joyra. Ryan casts Aether Spell Bomb. Joyra, Assistant, Mystic, and Rhystic all trigger again. Ryan pays for Rhystic, Sean draws from Mystic, Ryan scries one from Assistant, and then draws from Joyra. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Joyra and Trinket Mage. Sean takes it, and Ryan passes, discarding to hand size. Cal draws and casts Fierce Empath, paying for both Rhystics. It enters, and he fetches up a Kogla, the Titan Ape, into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Elvish Pioneer and Elvish Visionary, and attacks Sean with Teemer Sabertooth. They both take it, and Cal passes to Sean. At the end of Cal's turn, Sean casts Intuition. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. In response, Philip casts Dispel. Ryan draws, and Sean draws two from Mystic and Rhystic. Then Dispel counters Intuition, and the turn moves to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean pays for his Remora. Also in his upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Soul Ring, paying the Rhystic tax. He casts Ragavan Nimble Pilfer, and Ryan draws from Rhystic. Finished up and preparing for whatever comes next, Sean passes, discarding to hand size. Philip draws and casts Esper Sentinel. Rhystic's trigger, and Ryan and Sean draw. He casts his background, Candlekeep Sage. Ryan draws, and Sean draws two from Mystic and Rhystic. Philip ends his turn. At the end of Philip's turn, Ryan cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents into play tapped. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He plays a Volcanic Island for turn. Ryan decides he's gonna go for it and activates Aether Spell Bomb, sacrificing it and bouncing Dranith Magistrate back to Philip's hand. Ryan casts Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. Joyra, Assistant, Rhystic, Mystic, and Esper all trigger. Ryan pays for Esper, Sean draws from Mystic, Ryan pays for Rhystic, he scries one through Assistant, and then he draws from Joyra. In response, Philip casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate costs, targeting Harnfell. Ryan draws, and Sean draws two from Rhystic and Mystic. In response, Ryan casts Swan Song, targeting Fierce. Sean draws two from Mystic and Rhystic again. In response, Sean casts an Offer You Can't Refuse, targeting Harnfell as well. Esper and Rhystic trigger, and Philip and Ryan draw. In response, Ryan casts Dispel, targeting Offer, and Sean draws two through Mystic and Rhystic. In response, Sean casts Mindbreak Trap for its alternate cost, targeting all of Ryan's spells. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. In response, Ryan casts Flusterstorm with all copies, targeting Mindbreak Trap, and Sean draws two from Mystic and Rhystic. With nothing else, Flusterstorm counters Trap, Dispel counters Offer, Swan Song counters Fierce, Philip creates a 2-2 bird, and finally, Harnfell resolves. Ryan activates Harnfell, discarding Misty Rainforest, exiling Lotus Petal and Brain Freeze. He activates Harnfell, discarding Polluted Delta, exiling Sensei's Divining Top and Mystic Forge. Ryan casts Mox Opal. Joyra, Assistant, Rhystic, and Mystic all trigger. Sean draws two, Ryan scries one, and then draws through Joyra. He casts Jeweled Amulet. Joyra, Assistant, Mystic, and Rhystic trigger again. Sean draws two, Ryan scries one, then draws through Joyra. Ryan casts Lotus Petal from Exile. Sean draws two, Ryan scries one, then draws again. He casts Mox Amber. Sean draws two, Ryan scries one, then draws. He casts Chrome Mox. Sean draws two, Ryan scries one, then draws. It enters, and Ryan imprints Riddlesmith. 
Ryan casts Gamble. Sean draws two, then Ryan fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards an offer you can't refuse. Ryan casts Underworld Breach. Sean draws two, and in response, Sean casts Pact of Negation targeting Breach. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. In response, Ryan casts a Pact of Negation of his own, targeting Sean's Pact. Mystic and Rhystic trigger, and Sean draws two. Then Pact counters Pact, and with Breach still on the stack, Sean casts Tainted Pact, paying for Rhystic. In response, Ryan casts Mystical Tutor. Sean draws two, and in response, Sean pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting Mystical Tutor. Rhystic triggers, and Ryan draws. Ryan, out of counter magic in his hand, decides that he has to dig. So in response, Ryan activates Harnfell, discarding Wooded Foothills, exiling the Reality Chip and Bloodstained Mire. He activates Harnfell, discarding Ancient Tomb, exiling Urza, Lord High Artificer, and Red Elemental Blast. He activates Harnfell, discarding Fabricate, exiling Dragon's Rage Channeler and Phyrexian Metamorph. He activates Harnfell, discarding Talisman of Creativity, exiling Wheel of Fortune and Reshape. He activates Harnfell, discarding Paradoxical Outcome, exiling Cloud Key and Ethereum Sculptor. He is running out of cards in his hand, so Ryan decides to give it one more shot. He activates Harnfell, discarding Transmute Artifact, exiling Hercules Recall, and Mental Misstep. Finally finding what he wanted, Ryan pays two life to cast Mental Misstep from Exile, targeting Sean's Misstep. Sean draws two and, unfortunately, has no other responses. Misstep counters Misstep, and Mystical Tutor resolves. Ryan fetches up a Force of Will onto the top of his library. Then Ryan activates Harnfell, discarding Displacer Kitten, exiling Force of Will and Dockside Extortionist. He casts Force of Will from Exile, exiling the last card in his hand and paying a life. Sean draws two cards and has no other answers. Forced counters Tainted Pact and Underworld Breach resolves. Ryan cracks his Lion's Eye Diamond, discards his hand, which contains nothing, and adds three red. He casts Red Elemental Blast from Exile, targeting Sean's Rhystic Study. Mystic and Rhystic trigger and Sean draws two. Then Rhystic is destroyed. Ryan escapes Red Elemental Blast from his graveyard, targeting Sean's Mystic. Sean draws through Mystic, then Mystic Remora is destroyed. Ryan escapes LED. Joyra and Assistant trigger, Ryan scries one, then draws a card. He cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds three blue. He casts Brain Freeze from Exile, with 13 copies targeting Sean and the rest targeting Philip. Sean mills the rest of his library, and then Philip mills. Ryan presents a loop of escaping LED four times, scrying and drawing through Assistant and Joyra, then cracking it for mana, then escaping Brain Freeze enough times to mill out his opponents. Ryan escapes LED, scrying and drawing. He cracks it for three red. He casts Wheel of Fortune from Exile. Each opponent attempts to draw from an empty library, loses, and Ryan wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wild game. Congrats to Ryan on his win. It was extremely risky to attempt to win with three draw engines on board. He knew that if he could get Harnfell to resolve, he would be able to dig for the answers he needed. He packed a ton of removal, piloted well, got Harnfell to stick, and was able to close out the game. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.